Hello, this is Vicki with Condi Systems Tech Support here again to show you how to create and set up color management in the new version of Adobe Elements 9.0. So let's get started. I've already got my Adobe Elements uh, version 9 installed. So I'm going to go down here and just uh, click on it. And it's going to open up. And what we want to do first in elements is always create a document so a couple of ways you can create a document uh, you can do a control N or you can do new blank file and we're going to call this demo and click OK um, I like to use a transparent background so I'm going to just go ahead and create a transparent background and then click OK and with the transparent background, um, I, I need to put an image on this document so that I can access all the features under the print, uh, the print dialog box. So I'm just going to select a cut tool here. And I've got my crosshairs. I'm going to drag it across the page. And with that done, I'm ready to go to Edit and Color Settings. And this opens a dialog box where you can choose one of four options. You have the radio buttons here. We're going to choose Always Optimize for Printing. I'm going to click OK. Now what I want to do is go to File. I'm going to choose Print, but we're not really going to print. Uh, this opens the Print dialog box so that you can see um, how to select your printer, choose your paper size, those kind of things. But we're going to add one more feature here um, by selecting more options we're going to see a dialog box open up. Um, let me cancel all this for a second. Make sure number one you have your select printer, your GX7000 chosen uh, or whatever printer you're using. It could be an Epson, it doesn't matter. In color management this would work for all sublimation printers. This setup here in version 9 of Adobe Photoshop would work for all um, sublimation printers. So make sure you choose your printer for your sublimation needs. I'm going to choose more options and in here I have my printing choices, custom print size, and color management. So starting with printing choices um, I can go ahead and opt to flip my image and remember you want to flip your image on anything but glass, things like cutting board um, that you actually sublimate to the back of the product you wouldn't flip the image. So all these things are user choices. I don't choose anything else. So um, I'm just going to jump down here to color management. The custom print size is going to be unique to your image. So uh, those are user settings that would be unique to your image, your preferences. I'm going to jump to color management. Color handling. Um, we're going to change this to Photoshop manages color. That will give me the option to choose a profile. And keep in mind your profile must be installed at this point. If you don't have an ICC profile, then email support at condi.com and we'll get you one out. Scroll down. I'm using a GX7000, so I am going to scroll down until I find my profile for my sublimation printer. And it's in alphabetical order, so I just shoot left click on GX7000 die sub, I'm sorry, die trans high quality. And rendering intent is going to always be perceptual, so I'm just going to left click on perceptual and left click on OK. And if I wanted to continue on the print, I would just click print and that would save my settings. Um, as far as setting up color management in Adobe Photoshop uh, Elements version 9, that's all you have to do. If you have any questions on how to set up color color management uh, settings for version 9, give us a call here at Condi at 1-800-826-6332 and visit us on our webpage at www.condi.com. Also, for other YouTube videos, you can go to the Condi TV, which is located at the left of any of our uh, web pages from Condi.com and click on that. Thank you for your time. Again, this is Vicki with Condi Systems Tech Support.